guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I am at the foot of one of the most haunted places in England, that is Pendle Hill. I'm going to go for a hike to the top, explore and investigate the many claims of paranormal activity said to occur here. Really interested in this place, particularly since it is linked to witch trials that happened in this area back in the early 1600s and because it is a place that dark arts and rituals are thought to still occur at today. So go figure, just as we rock up to Pendle Hill, I'm very excited to see it and it's covered in fog and also raining really heavy. We intended to hike up it but we might have to wait out the rain. Just left the car and we're walking up towards the hill. I'm hoping it doesn't rain because it was bucketing down just before, but you can see it behind me. They say it's just short of a mountain. I don't know how tall it has to be to classify as a mountain, but it looks uh, pretty tall. So today's been a weird day. It was beautiful, warm and sunny before. And then as soon as we get to Pendle Hill, it's foggy, cloudy and rainy. halfway up Pendle Hill now and I'm an idiot because I forgot my water bottle and already need a drink but it's well worth it because this view up here is just beautiful. Guys I just found big creepy black slug. <laughs> the staircase has now just changed a little bit so I'm hoping that that means I'm getting a bit closer to the top. Everything's gone much calmer now. Though I reckon I can attribute that to being around the other side of the hill. There's lots of sheep everywhere and the view's really great so it's quite nice up here. Pendle Hill rests in Lancashire, England and although the site is beautiful, sitting calmly overlooking green fields and often laced in silk-like fog, the hill has an extremely dark past. So what makes Pendle Hill so notorious and interesting to the paranormal community? The answer is the Pendle Witches, who were involved in one of the most well-documented witch trials in England. This real witch's story dates back to the early 1600s. During this time, a local family who lived nearby was rumoured to have ties to the devil and perform dark rituals, which often included effigies made with human teeth and hair. After some local people died of illness, and other mysterious happenings occurred within the small religious village surrounding Pendle Hill, accusations of witchcraft were directed at this family. One of the most famous witch trials in England followed, with 12 people being accused of 10 murders. Of these 12 accused witches, 10 were executed by hanging, one is said to have died in jail, and one other was found innocent. To this day, many people believe that the ghosts of the Pendle witches continue to gather at their former meeting spot atop Pendle Hill, though other spirits from those who have perished upon or near the hill are also thought to dwell in the area. Because of Pendle Hill's history, many people have used it as a location to perform dark arts and even satanic rituals. Top of Pendle Hill, sorry that I'm not equipped for windy conditions. Uh, I need a proper camera speaker, so I don't know how this is gonna sound. We'll see how it goes. It's quite a big hike up and it's definitely got a creepy atmosphere. Um, haven't seen anything paranormal. Uh, I can't really try any experiments up here. I don't think a squirrel box or definitely not an EVP is gonna uh, do any well. But there is a lot of fog. Um, 
that keeps blowing in where we can't see more than a few meters in front of us and then it'll kind of just dissolve and there'll be a break in it and you'll see the beautiful view um, from the top of the hill but unfortunately it's pretty clouded up here that we uh, can't see most of it During my visit to Pendle Hill, I captured a strange flying anomaly. I didn't realise at the time of my visit, but after researching I learnt that Pendle Hill is a notorious spot for UFO sightings. Watch the next clip carefully and look out for this unidentified flying object. It seems too far from the camera to be a bug or blade of grass flying past. Too fast and small to be a plane, though it shares a similar shape. Could it be something blowing past in the strong wind, such as a bird, or something more mysterious? Let me know what you think it may be in the comments below. Alright guys, so the weather has um, calmed down a little bit and I found a bit of a windbreak. So it's much calmer here than at the top of the hill, though I am pretty close to the top. I decided I'll try a spirit box here. Uh, there's no way I can do it at the top. I won't pick up any uh, anything at all on my camera and it's windy and hard to hear anything up there. So we'll give it a go here and see if uh, we have any luck. Hello spirits, is there anyone around that wants to talk to us? My name is Amy and this is Jared. Can you come close and tell me your name? Are there any witches around? Is there anyone here that was ever accused of witchcraft? If you used to live on this hill, can you come close and tell me your name? How did you die? How old are you? Are you with family? Tell me why Pendle Hill is significant to you. What are your thoughts on witchcraft? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe so I can keep taking you to haunted places. If you want to do any more reading on Pendle Hill, head to amyscript.com. But remember, until next time, stay spooky.